Hey everyone, it's Maggie Vaught here with vlog number seven, and today is Monday. They announced the um, today they announced the Spiel des Jahres and the the Kenner Spiel, which is like the kind of leveled up version. So it looks like the winners are Camel Up for the big prize and Istanbul for the Kenner Spiel. So neither of which were my picks. So speaking of Camel Up. This one's the one of the three that aren't actually out in the States. It was between Concept, which I've played in love, Splendor, which I've played in a okay with, and Camel Up, which seemed to be this kind of more kid family oriented betting racing game. And so that one should be out from Z Man in the States soon. I know that plenty of people I know have played it and liked it just fine. I don't know that it is necessarily for me or my crew, but it certainly looks interesting. And then the other one, Istanbul, I own. Um, I played it a couple weeks back, and we found it to be light, lovely, easy to teach, um, certainly worth your time for a few games. A couple of the tiles, which is pretty important out of like a 12 tile game, a couple of the tiles were pretty powerful, so you're all fighting over the same couple of strategies, but the pattern and the pickup and delivery and everything, super interesting. And it was between that. Rococo and Concordia and I my money was on Concordia because that the game got so much buzz for having such a hideous box art um, I played it I, I liked it just fine I, I thought the set collection for scoring was really really interesting uh, yesterday or actually the day before it was Saturday we were at the EMP Museum here in Seattle and they were doing their uh, event the myth and magic fair so they had you know, the fighting and spell slinging and magic and stuff. And I even got to see they paraded around a unicorn. So they slapped a horn on this bright white horse and its little baby horse. And they paid this little blonde girl to go put flowers on it. It was really, really funny. Um, I got to see the Harry Potter video game. And it's like, it's motion capture. So you're like, your hand goes and pours the ingredients and... The biggest oversight I saw on that game was that they didn't get Alan Rickman to play Snape, so the voices are all wrong. But while we are there, we were running a game lounge, which is kind of a casual thing, and we're kind of off in a corner. So most people that we talked to were end up looking for the bathroom or something else, but anyone else that came by and saw what we were doing and got interested, we got to show them games. And these are people I would never interact with in a regular day. They're not super hardcore gamers and they've never been to my shop or anything. So I played a lot of zombie dice and ninja dice and king of Tokyo, suspend. Um, these one girls sat down and they were the funniest thing. They were looking at Epic Spell Wars, which is a cryptozoic little card game. And the art is super metal and everything's like gormophoric and really neat. And by the end of the game, I had, uh, my friend Mal was helping out for the day and I called him over. By the end of it, these girls were telling Mal to go F himself, that he was going to effing die. and. They really, really got into the spirit of it, and it ended up just being the funnest fun day. Um, so I was really glad to see that. Uh, we played a game of Praetor the other night, that one I was super excited about, remember? Has two broken strategies. Unfortunately, it is rewarding of a hurry up and wait strategy where you hoard all your resources and then just have them for points later. There are two tiles where if I have hoarded all the resources on the board, I can just take a tile and get 70 points at a time and so three of the five of us just sat there on our cell phones waiting for the game to be over and it was really really bad and sad so it looks like the game certainly needs a variant or some sort of tuning something to actually like make it playable in the future too bad um, the last thing this week was the M15 pre-release. I went two and two, which means I lost two and I won two. This is six booster packs that you open up and you make a deck out of and then you battle them. And I did not even come close to winning or losing by a hair. I either crushed someone or was crushed. And most of my opponents are really cool. I typically just goof around and kind of chat all the way through my games. And my last opponent was so nice. He was crushing me, just kicking me in the face. And super polite about it. I'm passing the turn with a little bow and just the nicest person to destroy you. 
So that was nice. I didn't really pull any magic cards that I wanted, no Garrick's or anything, but I got a Soul of New Phyrexia, which is pretty cool. It's going to go into one of my EDH decks and a black flying demon thing that I'm going to definitely like. Um, <laughs> I think later tonight I'm going to get my table set up and do a full walkthrough of Istanbul now that it's got a little more attention. I think it's about time I do an actual video and do some editing before I forget how. Not that I ever knew. Um, but that's next, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!